Hello there, my name is Benjamin and thank you so much for joining me once again in the studios of Blabbing Solutions. In today's video tutorial, I will walk you guys through a step by step with no steps skipped on how to create a very simple shoe sales banner like this. But before we begin, let me take this opportunity to say a very big thank you for clicking this video. If this is your first time of being in here, this is Blabbing Solutions once again. And we are into the production of graphic design video tutorials so if you think videos of this nature will be of great benefits to you then i encourage you to hit on the subscribe button and become part of this lovely and wonderful family after don't forget to like share and let me know your thoughts by leaving them in the comment box below if you are already a part of this wonderful family i want to say a very big thanks to you for showing up once again Alright guys, so this is the resources that I'll be using. This is the text. So nothing. This is what I'm going to use and uh, these are the resources. So let's begin. So with my Photoshop application here, I'm using Photoshop CS6. Click on file, click on new and let's create a new document. So I'm going to name this shoe banner all right so i'm going to go with the size one four hundred with one zero zero that's i'm working in pixels all right so the resolution is 300 i'll leave everything here as it is white background and i'm okay and let's click okay when we are done all right so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to import in the image of the shoe and I'll use the color to create a gradient background okay all right so to do that let me pull in the shoe all right good that is too big so let me hold the shift key and hold and drag this to get a correct scale of your object all right so with this i'm okay so come in here and click on the adjustment fill and let's click on the gradient so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select a sample in here but before before i can take in the color samples the gradient should be below the shoe layer okay so i'm going to click ok in here and i'm going to drag this layer beneath the shoe layer all right so that i can take the color samples so just come in here and double click in here and let's take in the shoe so i'm going to take something like this but i'm going to make it black then let's take a color of this sort okay so this is okay i'm going to drag this in here a bit let's click okay in here and i'm going to reverse this okay but i'm going to choose a radar of it i want the darker part to be little all right so something of this is okay but oh, it's gone it's gone bad all right so let's use the scale of it okay i think 130 is okay and let's try to go something lesser all right i guess this is okay then we are done click okay so that is the gradient background that we have i'm going to create a solid background of black and come to the same adjustment fill and let's create a solid background of black right and i'm going to reduce the opacity of this solid background to something like this all right then comes my other 
resource which is this so quickly let's import this let's scale this big enough hit enter okay so i'm going right into the blending mode in here and i'm going to choose multiply let me rasterize this layer so i can clear some portions of that is my style your style could be different okay so i'm going to use the eraser tool the shortcut key is e so that is the eraser tool that is what i'm using i'm going to reduce the opacity of this separate i'm going to reduce the flow of it as well that was way 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 too much all right so i think this should be all right okay so gradually gradually our sales shoe sales banner is coming to life so the next thing i'm going to do now is i'm going to work on the shoe the shoe is too bright so i'm going to create some curves on the shoe and uh let me quickly do this this color click here so it only affects the shoe Okay, then let's add a little brightness to it. Alright, so I think this is okay. Then maybe we can drop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to match this layers with the shoe. So with my shift key held, I'm going to click the last layer and I'm going to press Ctrl E to match the shoe layer. Okay. So I'm going to add a shadow, a drop shadow to the shoe. Okay. I'm going to increase the size a bit, spread it a bit, and maybe increase the distance a bit. Perfect. So gradually we are coming to life. So let's increase the size of the shoe a bit. And now the next thing we are going to do is we are going to do the typing of the text all right so let's begin typing Alright guys, so welcome back from the typing and uh, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to change the color of the shapes that we have in here. So with this, I'm going to use a color of uh, hexa code FF9000, okay, that is the color that I'll be using and I'm going to change the second box to white and I'm going to change the leather to that same uh, FF that's the header code FF900 right. then with the shoe I'm going to leave it as it is so that is it so I'm going to group this layers together so easily I can move them okay that is so I'm going to rename this as a uh, So let me say XO5. Alright, so XO5 group, right? Then I'm going to shift the shoe here. So this group should come beneath the shoe, so it covers something in here this way. Alright. So my shoe is very big so I'm going to reduce the size by holding my shift key pressing ctrl T first to get a free transform tool then I'm going to hold the shift key to get 
a proportionate scale of it so i'm going to shift the shoe in here this way and i'm going to press ctrl t and i'm going to resize this and make it bigger bit. so that is it all right so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to do another type in and uh, we are giving out some discounts to the first hundred customers that comes to make purchase of the shoe so we are giving a 50 percent discount to them okay so 50 Alright guys, so now that I'm done typing this one as well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to group those layers as well. So for grand sale, 50% discount and the for first 100 customers. So let's rename this uh, as uh, a discount. Alright, then maybe I can type one last thing in here. So it goes like visit www dot buy shoe after we are done then maybe i can space out and maybe add a telephone number to this So we can align the telephone number and uh, the visit as in the website together. So, all right. So there you have it. All right, guys. So we are actually done with the creation of uh, shoe sales banner. But one last thing. This is optional. You can choose to add it or not. Okay. So it's brush. Uh, so we can add some brush layout to this. Sorry. So I'm going to create um, a new layer on top of the shoe background that I did. And I'm going to create a brush. The shortcut key is B. That is if you can see among the two. So um, I have some brushes in here, brush presets that I want to select from. Well, I have some, something like sun rays. Okay, so I think I've seen it, that, that is it. So sorry okay so I'm going to reduce the size by clicking the left box bracket what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the color in here something white let's see what happens so then oh, that is too much white is too much but it looks not bad it doesn't look bad but what is not what we need so i'm going to change the color that's i've undone that and i'm going to select um, let me see ash and let's see what happens if it's nice we're going to maintain the ash color okay let me try reducing the opacity of this and see what happens Alright, so I think this is nice. Even if it is not nice, it is nice. <laughs> Alright guys, so this brings us to the end of today's video tutorial. If you really learned something in here, please do well to hit on the subscribe button, like, share, and let me know how best you can do this by leaving your thoughts in the comment box below. Until I come your way next time, thank you so much for choosing Blab and Solutions. And See you in my next video. Happy New Year.